All right guys, so believe it or not, the hardest thing about Amazon when I first started was how to print out Amazon labels, FNSQs. It was really hard to figure it out and at the end of the day, we just bought a Chrome extension and that was it. Wants to be in the video. Um, so before I start, bear with me, it's like two in the morning, I'm tired. I don't drink coffee at night, so you get what you get. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. People know me as Toonie or Toonie Flip. And I need a shave. Holy moly. Look at that. Anyways, um, yeah, so I logged into my Cello Central earlier this week and I realized the old shipment workflow was deleted. Uh, it wasn't a secret. They always told us that they were going to get rid of it November 1st, I believe. So the old workflow, even though I liked it a lot. There was an issue with it and that was you couldn't print out anything with a Dymo or a Zebra printer. You needed some kind of extension, uh, software, some hack. I know people did copy and paste which was insane. The new workflow gives you the option to do it, to use a Dymo which is great and I like it. And apparently a lot of people don't even know that it's there. So I'll show you guys what I did. All right guys, so before I continue, I wanna show you my Dymo setup, uh, Dymo 450 Turbo. I paid $89 and it was on sale. I don't know if you can find it that cheap anymore because you know, inflation. Now, this is the paper I use. I get this from Uline, it's a thousand labels. This will last me about two, three weeks, depending on the season. And yeah, I'll probably add a link at the bottom. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to affiliate before I get this video out, but uh, yeah. Okay. Here I am in my Seller Central account. Now I'm gonna blur a lot of the stuff out. I don't want you guys knowing what I'm selling. Not yet, I'll make a video about that later. So, we'll go to the dashboard, which is here somewhere, there you go, dashboard. From your dashboard, you're gonna go to shipments, from shipments, send to Amazon, click on that. Now, it should bring you up to this page. Let me start a new. All right, so she'll bring you up to this page here where you have your inventory. And let's just say you want to ship out some Legos and you already have it in your inventory. We'll look it up. You go to search, put Legos in there, and here are your Legos. Now, let's just say you want to ship this one here. You have two of those to ship out. Click on that. Click on this box and we'll ship three of these. So you got five going out, five units going out, right? When you're happy with that, press ready to pack, ready to pack. Now come down to the page and click on SKUs ready to send, click on that. That's gonna remove everything but the stuff you're shipping out. Uh, you could make sure, you could just double check everything. Uh, on this page okay so once you're happy with that we'll go to print all SKU labels click on that now it brings you up to this page I think you could do the 30 ups if you change the format to standard yep there you go standard format 30 ups where you we're using the Dymo so we go to thermal printing so I never changed any of the of the, the settings then we go to print all and it's gonna generate this PDF file down here. Click on that. And there are your labels. Now, I go to my printer. My demo's are already set up there. Um, my paper size, I use 3334. That's the paper size that I use. Um, and you wanna click fit to paper. So when you print that out, there you go. All right guys, so that's how I did it. And if this helped you out and if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Now, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but this is, I guess, the easiest way for me. Now, like I said before, I haven't been using this new workflow. So everything's new to me. So yeah, keep that in mind. Peace. Wait, wait, one last thing before I go. 
subscribe. <laughs>